Hey everybody, it's Rob here at eTrailer.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the Thule Hitching Post Pro 4 bike hanging style rack on our 2019 Ford Edge. Now our Hitching Post Pro is going to allow us to take up to 4 bikes to and from the trail. Now I personally really like hitch mounted bike racks. I personally think it's a lot easier than cramming them in the back of the hatch and I don't like the idea of having a roof rack on our Edge. I'm a little bit on the shorter side and I just don't like the idea of having to lift my bike this high and being this close to the paint. So a hitch mounted carrier is going to make it a lot easier on our backs because we're not going to be lifting our bikes this high and again we don't have to be so close to the car and worry about any kind of scratches or damage. Our Hitching Post Pro is going to hold our bike at three different points. We'll have two on the cross tube on top and then we're going to have one on the vertical support. Now this one here is actually going to prevent the bike from swaying too much back and forth and making that bike to bike contact. Well, let's go ahead and pull our bike off so we can get a closer look. The straps here are just rubber. You just kind of stretch them, pull them, unhook them, and move them out of the way. And once you get them all unhooked, I will let you know it's not that big of a deal, but kind of have to work the bike off to go around the cradle. Now with the bike out of the way, if we look inside the cradle here, you can see that we got a couple indentions or channels. Now those channels are going to be great for those bikes that have cables running along the frame. That way they have somewhere to sit and they're not going to be crushed. And again, the strap itself is going to be a nice soft rubber material, so we shouldn't have to worry about any kind of scratches or abrasions on our bike. Now the other thing I really like about these cradles is that they're all adjustable. So we can actually just move, pivot, and slide the cradle back and forth on the arm so we can get the optimal spacing for each of our bikes on these arms. Now being able to carry up to four bikes is really nice, but as you can see, we're adding quite a bit of real estate to the back of our edge, so I'd like to give you a few measurements so you can have an idea of how large our rack is. If I measure from the very back of the bumper to the furthest point on our arm, we're coming in right about 38 inches. Now I understand we don't always have that room and Thule knows that as well. So if we come to the back of the mast, we actually have a pin and clip. We're gonna remove the clip, pull that pin out. We can actually rotate the arms down into a stored position. And we can always lock the pin back in place so it won't be bouncing when we're driving down the road. And you can already see it saved a lot of space. And if I measure from that same point, we're only going to be adding right about 15 inches. So it really did save a lot of room. Now I know we're all guilty of forgetting something once we get where we're going. Maybe we just got our bikes off the rack, we're ready to ride, somebody forgot some socks, a helmet, whatever it is. And none of us want to crawl from the front seat all the way to the back. So if we come to the bottom of the mast, we're going to have another one of those pins and clips just like up top. This time we can remove that pin and the entire rack is going to tilt away, giving us ample room right here so we can open up the hatch and get whatever large objects we need or put anything we need inside, then we can close up the hatch. So it just makes it really convenient. We don't have to remove the bike rack, mess around with any of that. I will say you don't want to tilt the bike rack away with bikes loaded on it though. Then it's just a matter of reinserting the pin and hooking the clip on it. Now the Hitching Post Pro is going to work with both inch and a quarter and two inch hitches. So it's nice if you have several different vehicles in your family that you may want to use the bike rack with. The other nice thing is they include an anti-rattle bolt. So it's going to take all the slop and play out of the receiver tube and if I start shaking the rack, we can see it's actually shaking the entire car because there's no play. So we don't have to worry about that annoying rattling sound when we're driving down the road. So overall, I really like the Hitching Post Pro. Thule makes a lot of great products, and this one's not any different. I feel like this one fits in that perfect little sweet spot. We get the ability to carry a lot of bikes with us, but it's also still a great value. Now, I know a lot of people want to see how this is going to be on the road and how the rack is going to handle a few bumps and everything else. So let's see how our rack does on our test course. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. 
Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. But again, I'm Rob here at eTrailer.com, and that'll finish up your look at the Thule Hitching Post Pro 4 hanging style bike rack on our 2019 Ford Edge.